so let's just keep the ball rolling, shall we? Shall we? <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> Okay, so we got Mantis and the Elders. Yeah. People are like, get into the comic already. Holy crap, boys! Chocolate fun for everyone. It's a hit. <laughs> My sound just went out. Man, I hit the sound right out of the park. Free baseball player cards and six packs. M&M's. Milk, chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hands. Guess what? It, it melts in your hands, too. I tried. Bunch of liars. It melts in your hand as well. Just hold it there. Your hand is hot. I fought the runner and I lost. I summoned the power cosmic, but he was an elder. I'm dying without Shalabal. Dying. Alone. You've run this one a merry chase, Silver Surfer. Who are you? This one is not what she was when she wore this name, but she invites to call her Mantis. What? I don't get it, Mary Chase. Who is, is that her saying that? I don't, I don't get it. I've already failed. Just started reading and I've already failed in the voice. <laughs> okay. Yes, we met during the Avengers Defenders Clash. This one was Mantis then. Very Mantis. And who is to say she is not Mantis still. This one brings you life. Zittles. Exits. Pimple so embarrassing you want to leave the party. How about pimple so embarrassing you're not even invited to the party in the first place? Right here, this guy. This guy. Right here. Alright. Zittles are new words for the same old bummers. Acne pimples. What can you do about them? Launch major zit zits rig with the unbeatable medicine in Oxy 10, Oxy 10 cover, Oxy 5, and Oxy 10 wash. They all contain a potent measure of ben benzoyl peroxide. The very stuff that brought acne medicine out of the dark ages. In fact, when it comes to actually killing acne bacteria, there's absolutely nothing stronger you can buy without a prescription. Blimple. A pimple so big it feels like it covers your entire face. Yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah. I used to be a big pimple face. Used to have a lot of zits. Lot. At one time. Next question. How clean can you get your skin? You know all those little embedded blackheads that you like to call your nose home? OxyClean softens them up. Helps send them floating down the drain. This <laughs> kind of gross. <laughs> OxyClean Medicaid pads, cleanse your soap and scrub, lift away dirt and oil so well you can actually prevent new pimples from starting in the first place. 
So before your pimples turn into blimples, get Oxy and get your face ready to face the world. Oxy, because zits are no laughing matter. No, they're kind of gross. Alright. What an awkward ad. What was the next ad going to be about? Tampons? Seriously. <laughs> you will not die. What? What happened? You got a dose of Oxy-10 wash. I spread it all over your body. And now you live. No, actually, she says, pull pieces, medicinal herbs. This one applied them to the outer man, fed them to the inner, to heal the injuries inflicted even on your silvery form. And then the oversee their efficiency. She was within herbs as well. But the mantis I knew couldn't survive here herself. The atmosphere is full of methane. The temperature is hundreds of degrees. And you haven't yet thanked her. And you haven't yet thanked her for her trouble. Thank you. What are you? One who thinks she knows more than you do about the conflict you've thrust yourself into so casually, surfer. But for her to be certain, you must tell her how you came to this spot and fate. All right, you certainly earned that. As you must remember from the clash, I was trapped on your world. And had been for years, even then. But recently I escaped Galactus's barrier and flew to my love, Shalabal. Back in Silver Surfer number one. Check the videos! On the 3,651st day, we rested Forgotten Realms. After ten long years of evolution, we've recreated the world. Behold, the Forgotten Realms, in all its magical mystery and detail. The line where many future advanced Dungeons and Dragons gaming campaigns will take place. Travel to new places like the Waterdeep of the North, the greatest city in the Forgotten Realms. And the islands of the moon jays inhabited by unicorns, druids, and bards. The Forgotten Realms adventure set includes an invaluable 96-page cyclopedia. Four full-color maps of this new fantasy world. The indispensable Dungeon Master Sourcebook of the Realms. And much, much more. Yes, it's taken us a while to get you there. But once you've been to the Forgotten Realms, you'll never forget it. Double it all fine hobby and book toy hobby and bookstores. Okay. Unfortunately, my love had moved beyond me while I languished in the per prison of the earth. Nebulae unfolding, the love I held for her kept me going, even on the darkest of those nights. But it was not to be. And so I set out to discover why the elders had attacked me. Why they had sided with the Skrull Empire against the Kree. When they are so far beyond both and me. I rode the surf of solar winds away from Shallow's world, but stopped on on Panamint for a final view. The alignment of the stars, the grandeur of the constellations. From that point, the lush and fragrant foliage on which a weary traveler can lay even a near invulnerable form. I always breathe vapors there, but when I do this, so this time, I suddenly saw the threat the Grandmaster posed to the west and east coast Avengers. I couldn't explain it, I only knew it was true. Back to Earth I went, so soon after fleeing it, 
My intervention allowed Hawkeye to save us all. And then after confronting the Elder known as the Collector over his part in the plot, he professed ignorance, though I can't yet decide if I believe him. I set out once more to investigate, only to face the runner's attack and to fail and to fall before it. Now you Certainly, but this one story is far more complex. We have far to go. Let her tell it to you while we fly upon your gleaming board. Where are we going? To a hidden conclave of our enemies. Now here, Mantis was a woman of the Saigon streets who had lived by her wits and the whims of a common soldiers from all sides. Since her father had been one of those whose uniforms passed through her land, and her mother had died in her endless wars, in their endless wars. She was a woman who had attacked herself, attached herself to a man already paying for past sins, the swordsman, as an, as an entree into his former group, the Avengers, and his former country, America. But after the swordsman died to protect her, she found disturbing evidence that she was not those things, not what she hers knew herself to be. And in the end, she knew she was not. In fact, this one had been raised in the Earth's temple of the priests of Pama. Pacifist outcast from the militant Cree Empire, who cultivated the fully awakened plant consciousness called the Kutati. This one had been taught the martial arts as practiced by the priest. From her affinity for the mantis attack came her name. And she had been taught the telepathic empathy needed to communicate with Kotati. Then to teach her the other ways of humankind. Her memories of that life were replaced by those of Saigon infamy. And she went her way. While unknown to her, another young Earthwoman known as Moon Dragon, who had received the same training after being taken to Saturn's moon of Titan, continued to live as a priestess in the sanctity of the Titan Temple. In time, Mantis and Moon Dragon were weighed in and in the balance, and this one with addition of humanity was found more worthy of proceeding of representing humankind in a marriage with the most perfect Kotati to create the union of flora and fauna, plant and animal, the new life of the celestial child. Metis was the celestial Madonna. And so the prime Kotati reanimated the body of the swordsman that he and she could conjoin in this world. And then we too became as one in his world. Okay. <laughs> and the child was conceived. At her time, this one returned to her birth world, seemingly alone, but carrying the spirit of her man as part of her. And the child came, and the child has grown strong on the soil of his mother's earth. How is it I have never learned of this? Did you contact the adventures? This one did not. The growth of her child required constant peace, for none like him come into being before. We too grew as unnoticed as grass, but now a time of solitude has come for him, and he needs his mother not. Thus this one reappears, and this time this one lives as Kotati do, under whatever conditions. And she moves from world to world as surely as blood courses the, and sap flows. But why, Mantis, why have you helped me? Her openness with plant life throughout the cosmos has brought her information concerning the various elders' plans. Just as it brought her the information concerning the Collector and Grandmaster which she fed to you on Panamint. You did? 
You think you're the only one who's glimpsed the outline of the Elder's activity? Even as she prepared to go against them, she discovered that you'd entered, entered the picture, but your reasons were as unknown as the Elder's. This one needed to see whose side you would choose. She's glad you chose as you did, sir, for despite her time of silence, she retains her affection for the Avengers. And you and she both need all of the power she can, that can be mustered in the days ahead. That I can believe, Mantis, and yet, as you say, the forces at work here in space are mostly unknown to a man so long imprisoned. And that includes you. Everything you say sounds plausible. Actually, I knew most of your story concerning the Avengers from conversations I had with them over the years. But in our rush across the cosmos, I won't forget the person standing next to me. One quintillion, one followed by eighteen zeros. The concept is all but meaningless to those of us who dwell on one lone planet. But one quintillion miles from us is the large megalanic is the large me megalanic cloud, and in all of space, that's not that far. space that's not that far <laughs> 15 billion stars burn balefully within its shadow contours one of them is the blue sun Pema and round it circles dark Krelar Krelar the capital of the vast Kree Empire the entire, entire surface of the planet is covered in machinery. Nothing grows here save power. And at the core of this corruption floats living power, the cybernetic computer system, which sums the mighty military minds of untold millennia. The supreme intelligence, intelligence from all corners of the Empire, flows continuously into its tentacled circuits. From time to time it murmurs. From time to time it speaks. The scrolls have lost their shape-changing powers. Supremer? I have reports of the Skrull Empire splitting into factions of ceasefires on worlds where I expected wars, on wars where no cause seemingly exists. Now I have a report of scrolls destroying themselves when captured. Until the final clue, the previous reports mean little, but now I am certain. The scrolls are working from weakness. And praying, I won't see it, but their prayers have failed. We will probe them and learn more. Get me the primary espionage unit. Get me ca Captain Tyrell. At 13 quintillion miles from the heart of the Kree Empire is the Andromeda Galaxy, where beat the many hearts of shattered Skrull Empire. It's been verified, Majesty Ambassador Ptar and his party were overcome by a Kree deep cruiser and committed suicide. As per my orders, Ripon, did the cursed Kree learn anything? We don't believe so. Our loss of shape-changing ability remains a secret, so far as we know. If only our Kree spy, on, if only our spy on Kree Lar would report. We have sent a Ripon. What's the matter? By the deviant gene. The Celestials have returned! More on this next time. Right now, we must leap to a third corner of the cosmos. This is the world where the Elders meet, at that crag on the lower horizon. Then hold my board tightly, because we'll go in at the fastest speed your body can withstand. With the suns behind us to remain unseen. This body is composed of mental energy. It can withstand any force you can generate. And if this one must hold on to something, it will not be something so lifeless as a board. Well, as you will. Here we go!
Voices just ahead. The planning of this meeting was given the one from the three sources. A good thing, since this world has no vegetation to sound an alarm. And since there is no vegetation, this one could not come here on her own. Doubtless the reason it was chosen. See, the Grandmaster, the Collector, the Runner, the Champion. That must be the Possessor, the Gardener, and the Contemplator. The other four, I don't know. I tell you, the Silver Server died, Grandmaster. Where you and the Champion failed, the Runner succeeded with ease. I did not fail, brother. It is you who fails to grasp the sublet, su subtlety of my game. And the surfer was undoubtedly weakened from his battles with me and the awesome Korvac. You have called the surfer a gnat to us, champion, and you were correct, but your def. def but your defeat at his hands seems still to loom like the mountain for you. The contemplator has not come all this way to learn of injured egos. The point which attracts my attention here is the Grandmaster's assertion of a cure to for hidden strategy. It was it was I who helped him conceive it, brother proving once again that practical work suits one better than mere contemplation. I agree with the astronomer. It's only when one confronts a challenge and plays it through that one is truly alive. Why play with anything when extermination is so satisfactory real? Quiet, obliterator. Let us, brother, enlighten us. Astronomer, obliterator. And so I shall, traitor. Brothers, we are the oldest living beings in this universe. Our representative races, our respective races, were the first to form after the grand detonation ended whatever reality existed prior to that point and began this one. Everyone else who grew with us on those first worlds is long since dead. We alone survive, and so we call ourselves brothers. Though we have only longevity in common, the secret of our continued existence has been abiding interest in one specific aspect of life. I gamble the possessor catalogues knowledge, the gardener cultivates beauty. Yes, yes, get on with it. As I was saying, our interests have kept us alive until now, but now I have freed us from death altogether. What? Indeed, in my recent gamble with death, I allowed the West Coast Avengers Hawkeye to cheat and snatch victory from my grasp, apparently. My punishment for my failure was death's vow to bar all of us from her realm forever. You mean, yes, not only do I live again, but we are all immortal now. Only one who studies the births and deaths of galaxies could conceive of a scheme with such scope. And only the Grand Master would allow himself to die to find a way to implement it. My apologies for anything I've said against you. In the gasp, gasped, I was unaware. And now learn why the Silver Surfer had to die before we began the next phase. The next phase? You mean there is more? Much more, champion, because although we are the oldest denizens of this reality, there is only one who is older still, one who comes from the reality previous to this one. Galactus. And Galactus must die. But wait, Grandmaster, for I sense... We have unwanted visitors. I am Ego, the largest intelligence in all infinity. Nebula unfolding, the planet, the planet itself is alive. 
Had my attention not been centered on my proto-humanoid, I should have registered your presence at once. Take my hand, Mantis. Fools, everything within my biosphere is mine to control. Ah! Ugh. Release us, Ego. We mean you no harm. It is only the others we seek. Foolish little man, do you not understand? I am an elder. And this one, let us blindly hear, for there is none of her life here to warn her. But that is far from the end of her story. They think me removed from this conflict. Ego is the last of his race because there never was another like him. I am the last... Oh, Ego is the last of his race because there is never... Never was another like him. I'm the last of mine because I hunted them all to extinction. They are wrong. But men who hunt with weapons betray the weakness in their bodies. Then a battle of, of strength you shall have, and I have yet to be bested in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So be it. Stop her! Kill her, champion! Tau and Crucible! The surfer has wounded the world! Arr! I face worse conditions millions of times. The woman dies regardless. Can't break free. That's taken care of, Mantis. Time for us to leave. <laughs> Past time. Past time, Norin. Your aim is disgraceful, Collector. I don't gather my things to use them, Traitor. Others should be doing this. They will, brother. They will. That was a near thing. They're all near since the elders arrived. That was a near thing. They're all near since the elders arrived. But we did learn their plan. There's no turning back for us now. Near? I don't get it. And we two work so well together. They called me a gnat. They were very wrong. I got bitches. Next. Obliteration. <laughs> the Hulk. A mutant? No, I'm Rocky the Flying Squirrel! Now X-Factor is really confused. Find out why in The Incredible Hulk 336 and 337. There you have it. <laughs> 